Next up, well, we're still waiting for uh, this uh, presidential election to go through, so we don't know who's gonna win. And volatility is great for you traders, but also volatility and uncertainty is great for us because people like to invest into something uh, that is not a quantitative easing, that is a quantitative hardening, that is has has an assurance and only locked in at 21 million or whatever the market cap or, or whatever the uh, total supply actually is. So right now, <laughs> enjoy it because it's great for us. So this is a little piece where it talks about how presidential elections mark a turning point for Bitcoin. And if you've already, and first part's pretty boring, so I'm gonna skip that. Anyhow, it talks about elections typically mark a pivoting point for Bitcoin. And it states, uh, Masari analyst, Masari is a data analytics company, Ryan Watkins explained that presidential elections in the US have typically taken place at the start of all past bull runs. But you have to remember, uh, presidential elections happen how often? Every four years. And how often is there a halving? Every four years. So it's kind of like chicken or the egg type of thing. I kind of think there is something to be said about that they're both kind of in that same time point. So uh, we'll see. But he states, not a lot of people know this, but U.S. presidential elections are a leading indicator of Bitcoin bull runs. The 2008 election was a strong catalyst as it caused the launch of Bitcoin just two months later. The results speak for themselves. And so Obama was elected in 2008. And then in 2012, around uh, towards the later part there, he was reelected. And then after that, he just saw a huge spike again. Also, the happening probably had a little bit to do with that. And then we had a little bit of a slump right around there for 2015, 16, where I have to tell you, I feel like this is 2016. This 2020 feels like that's what it is because it's kind of like a lull and we're starting to kind of slowly take off. And I kind of feel it's what it is on top of the fact that we have a presidential election. Same type of thing. So this was when Trump was elected in 2016. And then in 2017, December, just about a year and a half later, or roughly, we saw the massive parabolic bull run. So here we are over here, same type of thing. Everything's playing out perfectly. We have a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. So I can only see these things going up. I could be wrong, but uh, that's how I see it. Anyhow, Watkins believes that reduced economic uncertainty provides fertile ground for Bitcoin to grow up. The reduced uncertainty follows elections, provides fertile ground for Bitcoin bull runs. And he states presidential elections are greater than halvings. So slow your roll. I don't think it's that big of a thing. I mean, it is great to have uncertainty, but there's something to be said when you cut the production costs in half and all of a sudden you're like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that it used to be 12 and a half Bitcoins uh, every 10 minutes that the miners would produce. Now it's only 6.25. Then in former years, it's going to be 3.175, whatever it is. So, I mean, you have to look at that and go, that's a big thing as far as the, the finite supply. So again, to reiterate, from here on out, I think we're going to see it's still going to be turbulent. We're still going to have ups and downs, peaks and valleys. But 2021 is our year. I say it in every single video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.